don't know. It was hard. <laughs> but unlucky. Let's take a look at the girls' scores after the first event. Champion swimmer Karen yet to take off her armbands. England striker Kelly still to leave the changing room. Both girls on zero. The ladies have got tonight's show off to a wet and wild start. Next up after the break, Kieran Bracken and James DeGale will be facing the Kings of Swing, Atlas and the Big O. Welcome back to Gladiators! Tonight it's the Battle of the Athletes. Four of Britain's top sports stars have come to test their strength against our mean and muscular gladiators. Before the break, we saw the girls get wet on Hang Tough. Next, it's the boys. And first up, it's England International Rugby Union player, Kieran Bracken. Gladiators beware. This contender's ready for a rock. My name's Kieran Bracken. I'm a former international rugby player for England and Saracens. Played for England for 10 years. I love the sport. The greatest sporting moment has to be winning the World Cup in 2003. And the reaction we got back in the country was amazing. The charity I'm hoping to win money for is Noah's Ark, who would do a lot for kids in hospice care. I'd say my strongest game, probably the Powerball, but I think they might team up on me. I'm really looking forward to take on these gladiators because I've faced much bigger guys than them. It's great fun, it's proper caveman stuff. It's what men are all about, you know? Give each other a plonk on the head. You're going to have a ruck with me, the rugby player. No contest. Kieran, how's it feel to be here? Oh, it feels great. Really, really excited, kind of. <laughs> a bit nervous. <laughs> a bit nervous. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Nerves are good. OK, successful rugby player, also an amazing ice skater on Dancing on Ice. Will that mix of brawn and balance put you in good stead for tonight? Um, I don't think so. I think the only thing that helps is getting, <laughs> getting used to this lycra. That's OK. It's the is rest it a bit it. tight? It's a little bit tight, but the rest okay. of it are going to get used to. It's going to be fun. Well, next, you'll be facing the big O, Oblivion! He's a tough one, the big guy. How do you feel about that? Well, I've just worked out I'm 15 years older than him, but he's like a little puppy, that face, that little puppy face, yeah. the cute little face. So let's see if I can give him a little cuddle on the way. OK, Kieran, go and get ready while we take a more detailed look at Oblivion. Watch out, Kieran. You might think he's a puppy, but this gladiator's ready to put you in the doghouse. Contender! Ready! Not only does he have 51 caps for England, but apparently Kieran once appeared in an episode of Friends. Gladiator! Ready! Don't think Oblivion wants to be friendly, though. Three, two, one! Well, Kieran's one of the finest rugby players England's ever seen. He knows this event is all about upper body strength and good, confident swings early on, straight into the path of Oblivion, though. But no problem for Kieran, who easily breaks free. And the same thing happens again, this time with just one arm. The big O might have his work cut out here, but Kieran's facing the wrong direction, and he's struggling to turn. Now Oblivion's got a hold of him, and surely it's all over for Kieran. He's not giving up without a fight, though. Kieran proving too strong for Oblivion at the moment. And look at that! Kieran breaks free once more, a brilliant effort. But he's left himself twisted. He's got to sort that out and at least get into the scoring zone before time runs out. Kieran trying to untangle himself by pushing no away kicking. from Oblivion. No kicking. And there's a warning from the referee, but it won't matter. Oblivion's all over him now. Can he manage to break free again? No, he can't. Down goes Kieran with just nine seconds left. But he's managed to steal a bit of the Big O's glory. Oblivion! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! What are they called? I'm the star! Boys! <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you enjoyed that? Well, yeah, he was, it was when he tried to kiss me, I got all excited, but <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I had no swing and I was just stuck there. And uh, <laughs> that's why he gave me a little cuddle. Hands around me, look, he's chatting me up at the moment. What fun that was. Great well, fun. I was watching and I've got good eyes and I think I saw Oblivion push his hand into your face. You'll see I had one over the top, one underneath. That's textbook, baby. All the way, big O. Yeah! OK, a long way to go. No points. I'm lucky there, but it was a good try. Next up to go on Hang Tough is our second male sporting legend. It's Olympic gold medal winning boxer, James DeGale. <laughs> 
He's a knockout contender who's ready to put the gladiators on the ropes. I'm James Degau, Olympic gold medalist, Beijing 2008. Olympic champion is crazy. I started boxing when I was about 10. I did it because I was a bit naughty at school. I love everything about boxing, man. The best sport in the tournament today is obviously the gold medal in Beijing. To stand on that podium and listen to my national anthem with a flag right around me, it's a dream come true. Dual, I think, has been my best event. In training, I've been taking a good hit. I've been boxing for the past 12 years, so I could take a good wob to the head. If I win Gladiator, I'm going to give it to a charity called Debra, which deals with skin disease called EB and cancer research. I float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. And I forget the rhyme, you lot are going down. OK, James, how does Gladiators compare to an Olympic boxing final? To be honest, it would never ever be an Olympic final, but it's gladiators and it's a close second. And you're ready? And I'm very, very ready. OK, I can tell you, James, facing you on Hang Tough tonight is super heavyweight, it's Atlas! <laughs> How are you going to beat those arms? God knows, he's a big lump, isn't he? <laughs> But, but, but listen, muscles don't mean nothing. Hey. I get in the ring with muscles every day. It should be all right. You know it. OK, best of luck. Go get into position whilst we take a quick look at Alice's stats. The King of the Rings is ready to make sure this boxing champion gets nothing more than a ringside seat. Contender! Ready? There's no doubt James has got the hand speed and coordination for this event. Gladiator! Ready? But Atlas has a five-stone weight advantage. Three, two, one! And the giant opening swing from Atlas. James more cautious, but he can't afford to be too complacent. Atlas forcing him back towards the platform here. But there's a great move by James. I think he actually sent Atlas the wrong way, and there's another one. James now with one hand in the scoring zone. Atlas is struggling to catch it. And there goes James's other hand. He's so close to that platform. But no! Once Atlas got hold of him, James didn't stand a chance. A great effort from James, so close. <laughs> well, you're really smiling, so you must have enjoyed it. It's fun. I nearly had him. Oh, well, really? You I took nearly... him down, didn't you? I know. I nearly got past him. Here we go. I was doing all right, isn't it? You grab onto him and you take him down. He goes on his back. <laughs> nice touch. Atlas. How's that for you? Good opponent? Strong opponent? Hey, that was a lot of fun. Thank you. Oh. But uh, once I'm wrapped around you, I'm taking you down. Oh, I like that. Such a gent. OK, let's take a look at the boys' scores after Hang Tough. After one event, rugby must try harder and boxing's out for the count. Both boys on zero. Tonight's four sports stars have all climbed to the very top of their field, but now they face the biggest climb of their lives. It's the wall! Contender! First up, the girls. Ready. England footballer Kelly Smith and champion swimmer Karen Pickering Ready. yet to score tonight. Ready! Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Kelly being chased by Cyclone. Enigma hot on the heels of Karen. Three, two, one! They get a seven second head start, and it's vital that the contenders take full advantage. Both girls climbing well. But here come the gladiators. And already Enigma's right on Karen's tail. Kelly just managing to keep clear of Cyclone, but Karen now in real trouble. Enigma's practically climbing up her back. And now Cyclone's latched onto Kelly. These contenders aren't used to losing. They're holding on with all their might, but there they go. The gladiators were just too quick and too strong. Come on, Karen. You're quite a nifty climber, though. You just weren't fast enough. What went wrong for you? Oh, you know, that seven seconds, that didn't seem long <laughs> at all. Yeah. I thought, just get your feet out of the way, get your feet out of the way, but suddenly just felt her around me. I was trying to wriggle and do everything, and I just couldn't hang on any longer. Kelly, unlucky. She was so quick, and once she grabbed my foot, I had no chance. She really had to tug, though, to get you off. There was nothing for me to grip. I was just holding on for dear life. 
Um, and then I eventually had to give up because I couldn't hold on anymore. OK, well, you've got no points on the wall, so let's see what that does to the scores. Karen's still splashing around in the shallow end and Kelly's yet to kick off, so both girls stay on zero. Next up, the boys. Contenders, ready! Not sure if Kieran Bracken's rugby career has prepared him for this, but Olympic boxer James looking confident. Gladiators, ready! He might not feel the same if he looked around and saw Predator behind him. And Doom really focused on Kieran. Three, two, one. Like the girls, neither contender has scored any points so far. But both of them making an absolutely flying start. Here come the gladiators. Oh no, disaster. James has slipped. It's all over for him. Kieran's still going strong, but Doom's right behind him. Doom just one move away. Somehow Kieran's keeping out of his reach, though. This is awesome. Oh, Doom's grabbed his foot, but Kieran's pulled away and he's done it. Ten points for Kieran. How did you find that, big fella? I don't know, I just felt like I was chasing and chasing. He was chasing me. I could feel his hands almost every step halfway up. He's tapping at my feet there. He's tapping at my feet. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. There we go. He's coming up into... Oh, my oh. God. Hey, ten points. Delighted for you. Well done, Kieran. OK, Caroline's with James. Ah, oh, so unlucky. You were halfway there. Predator was no way near you and you I was, slipped. I was rubbish. He wasn't rubbish. And it was my left hand. I didn't get the grip properly and I, and I fell off. Be honest, do you think if he hadn't slipped, you would have caught him? Probably, but the thing is, this guy has potential.